So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Murano Designer to create a completely new cover page from scratch. So at the moment, we've run the uh, Ditter sample through the default template to produce this annotated PDF. We have our reference PDF ready to look at. And here we have the Murano Designer template that we created called Coffee and Fudge. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the cover page and let's start moving things around. So let's get rid of some of the things we're not interested in. So I'm just using control select to select multiple items. So now we're down to a very plain cover page. Let's start by importing a graphic. So let's look at the coffee graphic. And we'll set the width of that to be 8.3, which is slightly bigger than the page width. So that's the, the start of our cover page. Now, now we're going to import the second graphic, which is the fudge. And we'll just position this down at the bottom. So if we go back to our reference graphic, let's take a look at what we've got here. So here we've got, um, we've got Noto Sans 42 points, and we have a color, which is 255140. So let's go back to our Murano designer template. I've double clicked to bring up the article title paragraph, and I'm going to assign this to document color two. Now here, if I click on this little icon, it brings up the definition of document color two, and we're going to change that to the RGB values, which I'll just copy from here and paste. and apply. So you'll see that that's recorded a new definition for document color two, that's our company color. And it's also applied it to the article title paragraph. So the other thing is we want to change the font size to 42 points and we get instant feedback and we'll change it to a bold font. And while we're here, let's center the alignment. So now I'm going to make this slightly bigger because the title may wrap. I'm going to move that down slightly and then we'll draw a new background text frame. And here I'm going to shift or control select and align the horizontal centers of the two graphics. So this is a, a text frame that we've created, ready to take some text, hardwired text, which we're going to copy from the PDF. And of course, this could come from your data content uh, using a variable definition, but that's something for another day. So I've pasted in the, the text and I'll just, move that down slightly. Okay, so I'm going to save this. And we'll go back to Oxygen, which is how we've, we're choosing to publish. So here we've got our coffee and fudge transformation scenario set up. And if we take a, a look here, we can see that we've got the MFD dot file is set up to use the coffee and fudge MFD file. So here, this is our first stab at a redesigned cover page. So this is the one we have, and this is the reference. The next stage will be to carry on and make further changes so that our PDF is more and more like the reference document. 
Thanks for listening.